Hi, my name is Tammy Pippert and I'm the product ma manager at Agilent Technologies for our family of frequency counters. I wanted to talk to you today about the differences between the new 53200 series and our previous generation of frequency counters, the 53181A, 53131A, and 53132A counters. The previous generation of counters, the 53131 that I have here and the other models in that family, have become the industry standard for for frequency and time measurements. With the 53200 series that we've recently introduced, the, we really take a step forward in four key areas. Um, substantial improvements with accuracy, throughput, resolution of the measurements you achieve, um, built-in math and analysis and graphing solutions, new connectivity options, and new measurement capabilities on the, on the 53230A model. One of the first things you'll notice when comparing our previous generation of frequency counters to the new 53200 series is the large color graphical display. As you're probably familiar with, the previous generation of counters offered a single numeric result on the display. The new 53200 series provides you with that same measurement result, but several other options are available as well. For example, we have built-in math and statistics, so as you're seeing your measurement result, you also get important information such as mean, standard deviation, max and min, as well as Allen deviation measurements. We also have built-in graphing capabilities such as the trend chart and histogram, so you can monitor your signal over time. Some of the other key differences that exist between the um, new 53200 series and our previous generation of frequency counters. The new series is a 350 megahertz um, instrument with options, uh, a third channel microwave option up to 15 gigahertz. Our previous generation was 225 megahertz with a third channel option up to 12.4 gigahertz. Additionally, we really have a uh, leap forward in, in performance capability with 20 picosecond single shot timing resolution on the new family of counters, where before we were only uh, able to get 150 picosecond capability. Finally, the third main area from a frequency counter perspective that's important to many of our customers, obviously, is the speed of the frequency measurement. Our previous generation of counters did not have internal memory, and we simply took transactional back-to-back -back measurement readings. The new counters are about 4x faster with our transactional back-to-back -back reading capabilities, but we also have built-in memory, so we can get up to 75,000 frequency measurements per second using block transfers, and we can get 1 million timestamp readings per second. With our previous generation of counters, we offered GPIB and RS-232 connectivity. With the 53200 series, we've retained GPIB connectivity for those of you that are interested in maintaining compatibility with our earlier generation of counters. We also have a built-in emulation mode for 53131, 132, 181A counters. We've also added um, LAN and USB connectivity. The 53200 series of counters is in fact the first LXIC compatible counter that's available on the market. As you can see, there are substantial differences between the previous generation of our frequency counters that have become the industry standard with the new 53200 series. Vast improvements in speed, accuracy, built-in math, graphing, and measurement functionality, as well as new connectivity will change the way you think about frequency counters.